Now for the second part of this experiment. In the previous film, you heard me recording directly to the audio interface and then through the mixing desk, but still onto computer. So it was an analog stage before the digital storage. Now I'm going to include this. This is the Revox A77, which in the late 60s and early 70s was the most expensive piece of hi-fi you could actually purchase. And people use these for still for mixing down to tape for that sort of classic sound. And as I said, with my funk and soul interests musically, I quite like having one of these around. So I'm going to perform the same experiment. So once again, it's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, but you'll hear the difference between the computer and then the tape machine. Now, of course, the tape machine is being stored to the computer, but any limitations of the tape machine will be revealed by the high quality digital signal that you've got. Now, on the computer at the moment, those two red lines, only the top one is live at the moment because the tape machine is in stop mode. Now, when I press record on the tape machine, the two heads, because there are there are two heads here, one for record and one for playback, because of the nature of tape passing one head and then over the other, there is going to be a delay. Now, before you hear, well, when you hear this demonstration, you will hear that I've compensated for that by simply dragging one file on the computer with respect to the other. So, as before, I'm going to count the four, I'm going to do it four times so you can hear the difference between the two machines and then you're going to hear the noise which I'm going to also boost by that 24 dB that I did last time. Now you will hear a bit more a few more gremlins coming through with the analog signal. So here we go. I'm going to press record on the tape machine and we will hear the comparison. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can now hear that there is a bit of a difference here. Is it enough of a difference? You know, we, we are just constantly after the next bit of kit that has you know, that has this dB range or that dB range. When you look through the specifications of a piece of kit, it actually says things that lots of people don't really understand. I mean, the dynamic range of this, 110 dB, versus roughly 60 or 65 for this. This is a high-speed machine. At the moment, it's travelling at 15 inches of tape per second. So it's pretty intense with its usage of tape. The heads cost £600 a pair. Yeah, and they only last 900 hours. So you can begin to see where the problem might lie with something like this. So you've got to have, you've got to basically look after it. Whereas a computer, obviously if you back up and you make sure everything's tip top, it's going to be absolutely fine and it'll open up your mix every time. So there it is. There's a little difference between going straight to computer and via a piece of technology 47 years old and still going strong.